Is the U.S. economy on solid ground? Experts weigh in. It's no secret that the U.S. economy has had its ups and downs in the recent past. But by most measures, the economy is currently in a state of solidity. Despite a rocky start to 2022 with negative growth, a robust labor market and resilient consumers have helped turn things around and give us hope for the year ahead. But while GDP, which measures the overall health of the economy, has risen more than expected in the fourth quarter, and the Federal Reserve is expected to announce a more modest rate hike at the next policy meeting, there are still some areas of concern. Housing, manufacturing, and corporate profits have all shown signs of a slowdown, and a recent wave of layoffs has fueled fears of a potential recession. There's no shortage of economists with strong opinions, says Tomas Philipson, a professor of public policy studies at the University of Chicago and former acting chair of the White House Council of Economic Advisors. But there's a scarcity of economists with the right opinion. So, is the U.S. economy truly on solid ground? Only time will tell, but for now, experts are cautiously optimistic. According to Sung Won Son, professor of finance and economics at Loyola Marymount University and chief economist at SS Economics, a rolling recession is already in progress. But don't panic just yet, he suggests that the worst may already be over. Rather than a sudden and simultaneous contraction, a rolling recession means that different parts of the economy take turns suffering. So, what does this mean for you and me? Well, businesses have already trimmed their inventories and cut jobs in some areas, and consumers have refinanced their homes ahead of rising rates. This means that the reactions to the Fed's moves have already worked their way through the economy and the financial markets. It's time to think about an exit strategy, says San. But hold on, it's not all doom and gloom. Yiming Ma, assistant finance professor at Columbia University Business School, suggests that this cycle has proven many of our traditional theories wrong. Expectations about a recession have been pretty inaccurate. In fact, this could be the soft landing that Fed officials have been aiming for after aggressively raising interest rates to tame inflation. One thing is for certain, however, everyday Americans are feeling the squeeze from rising prices for essentials like eggs and other goods. Many have already depleted their savings and are now relying on credit cards to make ends meet. Unfortunately, recent reports indicate that overall financial well-being is on the decline. As the economy continues to shift and change, it's important to be aware of the potential for a rolling recession and how it may impact your finances. While the effects of this type of recession may be felt differently by each household, there are a few universal steps that can be taken to prepare. First and foremost, Larry Harris, the Fred V. Keenan Chair in Finance at the University of Southern California Marshall School of Business and a former Chief Economist of the Securities and Exchange Commission, advises streamlining your spending. If you anticipate that you may have to cut back in the future, it's best to do it sooner rather than later. Take a look at your monthly expenses and identify any subscriptions or services that you don't really need. By cutting these out now, you'll be better prepared for a potential downturn in the future. Another important step is to avoid variable rate debts. Credit cards and other forms of debt with variable interest rates may be affected by changes in the Federal Reserve's benchmark rate, which can lead to an increase in the amount of interest you pay. If you're a homeowner with an adjustable rate mortgage or home equity line of credit, it's also important to keep an eye on how these debts may be impacted by changes in the prime rate. Finally, Harris suggests stashing extra cash in Series 1 bonds. These inflation-protected assets are backed by the federal government and offer a nearly risk-free return. Currently, they're paying 6.89% annual interest on new purchases through April, which is a much better return than a savings account or certificate of deposit. While there are purchase limits and you won't be able to access the money for at least a year, it's a great way to protect your savings from the effects of inflation. In conclusion, it's important to be aware of the possibility of a rolling recession and take steps to prepare your finances. By streamlining your spending, avoiding variable rate debts, and stashing extra cash in Series 1 bonds, you can help protect yourself and your family during these uncertain times. Thank you for watching, we hope you found this information helpful. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more tips and insights on how to manage your finances. And don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family so they too can be informed and prepared. Together, we can navigate these challenges and come out on top.